An object falls freely in a straight line and experiences air resistance proportional to its speed. This means its acceleration is a of t, which is acceleration, equal to negative k times b of t, where k is a positive constant and b is the object's velocity. The speed of the object decreases from 700 to 600 over a distance of 1500. Approximate the time required for this deceleration to occur. Okay, so there's a few things that we need to write down before we, before we start this problem. Um, we know that acceleration is equal to negative k times b of t. That was given in the problem. Right. We also know by this right here, a of t is equal to v prime of t. That's, that means that acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity. We know that to be true as well, so I can say that v prime of t, the derivative of velocity, is equal to negative k times the velocity function. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that over, so I get v prime of t over v of t equals negative k. Okay, so since it's written in this way, we, we have the uh, derivative of velocity divided by the velocity. Um, this says that the quantity decays exponentially and has a constant relative decay rate. That means we're going to be using an exponential function to solve this problem. Okay, um, a few other things that we need to, we need to uh, write down. First of all, we know that at some point our velocity becomes 600. We know at some point our position is equal to 1500. We know that our initial velocity, we'll call that v naught, um, was equal to 700. Okay, and we also know that um, this is true. The position function is equal to the integral of the velocity function. So those are some important things that we need to know before we start the problem. So we wrote them all down. Now, what we're going to use is a basic uh, exponential function form, um, since we have the negative k here. So we're going to say that our velocity is going to be equal to 700. That is your initial velocity. Right, or your yeah, your initial velocity, 700 times e to the negative k t. Okay, this is this is the velocity you started at, and this is just a basic form of an exponential decay function. Okay, so what I'm going to do using this, the fact that position is equal to uh, the integral of velocity, I'm going to take the integral of velocity. I'm going to start on a new page here. Okay, I'm going to take the integral of that because I know the x of t is going to be equal to the integral, and I'm going to go from 0 to t because I, I want to find a function here. So I'll integrate from 0 to t of 700 e to the negative k t dt. Okay. So how I'm going to solve this, I'm going to say u is equal to uh, negative k t, and that means du is equal to negative k dt, I take that negative k divided over, so I get du over negative k is equal to dt. Okay. I also need limits, since I'm changing to u. My current limits are 0 and t, but I need to plug them in here to see what my new limits will be. Okay. So limits, u is equal to negative k times 0. That's our lower limit, so our lower limit is now 0. And our upper limit, u is equal to negative k times t, which means it's the upper limit is negative kt. So I get the integral from 0 to negative kt of 700 times e to the u times du over negative k. Okay, I'm going to take the 700 and the negative k, I'm going to put it out front. So negative 700 over k out front of the integral. Okay, and inside the integral, I have e to the u du. It's a very easy integral to take. It's just an answer of e to the u. Okay, so I get negative 700. Whoops, I forgot to put my limits here. Negative kt, there they are. Okay, we get negative 700 over k times e to the u integrated from 
evaluated from 0 to negative kt, which will give us negative 700 over k times e to the negative kt minus e to the 0, which means it is this, e to the negative kt minus 1. Okay, so there's that is x of t. Okay, that is x of t. Now, what we're going to do is relate two equations together to try to figure out what our k and t are. Okay, so I know that this position function, I said earlier that the position at some point was equal to 1500. And this is the position function. So I can say, okay, well, negative 700 over k um, times e to the negative kt minus 1 is equal to 1500. Okay, and another relating equation, that was for position, another relating equation for velocity. Okay, I said earlier that velocity was the equation um, 700 e to the negative kt. And I know that at some point the velocity is equal to 600. Okay, so I have two equations, one based on the position function and one based on the velocity function. I also have two unknowns, the k and the t. So I need to combine these to get an answer. So how I'm going to do that, I'll divide by 700 here. So I can isolate the e to the negative kt term equals 6 over 7. And I will take that 6 over 7 and put it right here. e to the negative kt is equal to 6 over 7, and I'll put it right here. So I get negative 700 over k times 6 over 7 minus 1 equals 1,500. Okay, so we can solve that. This is going to be negative 1 7th. So negative 700 over k um, times negative 1 over 7 equals 1,500. Let's see, negative times a negative is positive. 700 by, divided by 7 is 100. So I get 100 over k equals 1500. Okay, and then if I multiply the k and divide the 1500, I get 100 over 1500 equals k, which equals 1 over 15. Okay, so that's my k. Now, I can use that by plugging the k in into my other equation, and that way I'll be able to solve for time. So my other equation was uh, this equation right here. So I get e to the negative 1 over 15 times t. That's the k that's going there. Negative k, my k is 1 over 15. So negative 1 over 15t equals 6 over 7. Uh, I'll take the ln of both sides, the natural logarithm. So ln of that, ln of that. So I get negative 1 over 15 t equals ln of 6 over 7. And then I'll multiply by negative 15, so I'll get t is equal to negative 15 ln of 6 over 7. Now, this is t. This is t for time. And this is going to be the answer to my problem. And if you put that in the calculator, you'll get about 2.31 as your answer. So that was in, what, feet per second. So this is in seconds, 2.31 seconds. And that's it.